Hi guys, it's time for another episode in my weekly diary, makeup diary series. I still don't really know what to call these, but basically I'm gonna show you the last seven looks that I have done, and this is going to be the first one. So I'm going to run you through all of the things I have on my face. That's what I'm going to do in every single look. For the most part, I use the same base products every day. So I'm just gonna quickly run through those because you've probably seen some of the other videos I've done as well, but I'm just gonna tell you quickly what they are. So for my foundation today, I'm as always using the Very Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. I have oily skin. I always wanna make sure that I say that so that you know if this is going to be a foundation for you or not. I like my foundations to be very long lasting. I always set my foundation with powder. Uh, and this lasts me, I would say like 16 hours and it still looks really, really good. It does get a little bit dewy at the end of the day, but I'm not someone who likes that dewy look. Like I would rather my dew come from like my highlighters and stuff like that. So I need something that's going to last because I do my makeup super early in the morning. It is 7.51 a.m. right now, so I'm probably not going to take my makeup off until 9 at night or something like that. That's usually how long I wear my makeup, so I need something that lasts, and this lasts very, very well on me. My concealer is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I love this. I'm surprised at how long this has lasted because this is my first tube, and when I first got it, I was like, doesn't seem to be that much product in here, but there's 13 mils, which I guess is more than some other concealers. I feel like they're usually around 13 or so. So this has lasted me a very long time. I've probably used this every day now for, has it been almost six months? Five months maybe? I don't know, but I'm very happy with how much product seems to be in this, but I also don't use a lot of concealers. So just keep that in mind. I just had like a, a red flying thing across my face. That was very strange. I wonder what that was. <laughs> anyway, really love this. My powder, I'm still using the same one. This is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. I've gone through so many of these. I love it. I think it's just, it does what I want it to do. It sets my makeup. It's cheap. <laughs> That's really all I need. My bronzer is the same one that I've been using all the time lately. And this is from ColourPop. Look at this dent. I'm like proud of myself. I usually don't make dents in products, but then again, there's not that much product in one of these and the super shocks do tend to kind of move around a little bit in the pan so it appears like you have pan even though you have maybe haven't used like that much product it's just kind of moved to the edges so this is the ColourPop super shock bronzer matte in the shade i'll bet i will link all of these basic products that i use every day down below in my description box and i'll try to link everything else uh, in the other ones, I haven't had room to link everything else. So I'll link everything that I can that I feel like is of importance, if you will. Let's move on to brows. I'm still using the same products, even though I did just use this one up today. This is the West Barnes & Co. The Brow Pencil in the shade Brew. It's just a really nice brow pencil. It's basically like a, a dark brown, and it just works really well for me. But like I said, I have now used this up, so there's nothing in there that's going in the trash. I do have a backup of this though, so I'm gonna open that one. And I'm using the West Barnes & Co. The Brow Pen in the shade Roots, which is also basically just like a dark brown. It's a little bit darker than what the brow pencil is. If you've been looking for a pen to fill in your brows with to make like hair like strokes, this is perfect. It does a great job every single time. It doesn't dry out and I feel like it's just a great product. Now let's move on to some of the more fun stuff. So for my face itself, I'm using a blush here from Kaleidos and this is the very bright pink. It doesn't look that bright pink on the skin, which I like that about this uh, blush is that it doesn't look the same on the face as it does in the pan, which makes sense because your skin color has some color to it. And if you mix this with another color, it's going to tone it down a little bit. Like it would look like this if you put it on top of white, but obviously I'm not white. So it works really well on me. I don't know the name of this because they don't have the names on the packagings, but I really like these blushes. My highlighter today, say it with me, <laughs> the Noctilucent palette from Blend Bunny. And I'm using the shade up here, which is the pink one. I just, I love this. I can't get enough of this palette. I think it's just so good. And it's just, it's always right in front of me. And it's so easy to just reach for rather than trying to find like a, a single highlighter in the shade that I want, I just like go for that one because it's just so easy. Let's see, let's move on to eyes. I'm of course using my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base, which is right here. I love this little thing, as you guys know. And then my eyeshadows today, I'm keeping it very, very simple. Um, I'm, use, I'm still using the Angels palette or Angles palette. I don't know what the actual name of this is yet, but I'm sure I'll be corrected when I post my video, which should have gone on before this. So I'll have it on the screen what the actual name of this is. But I'm just using one shade in this palette and I'm using this one all over my lid. It's just like an iridescent blue. And I just wanted a little bit of sparkle. I didn't have a ton of time to do my eye, eye makeup today. So I just focused more on the liner, which I think 
didn't turn out really good today. Like I always hesitate to do like a liner look, especially if I don't have that much time because I feel like it's easier for me to do eyeshadow on my hooded eyes. But I think that my little graphic liner moment looks pretty good today. I'm still using the DHC Cosmetics Liquid Liner. Best liquid liner of all time. I've recommended this now for probably three years. Still stand by it. I've tried a lot of liquid liners. This one is just really good. It just glides on the eyes so easily and it's just very smooth. It doesn't transfer. It's just the perfect eyeliner if you ask me and my humble opinion. Uh, my lashes today are the ones that I've been using a lot lately. It's the Dreamlike Lashes from Unearthly. Love these so much and I feel like my lash application today is pretty much perfect and that makes me happy especially when I'm doing like a graphic liner or like just a liner which is not something I do very often like I feel like my lash application needs to be more perfect on days where I just do this because like your lashes are more of a part of the look than if you do like a ton of eyeshadow you can kind of like hide the fact that your lashes aren't perfect because there's so much eyeshadow on the eyes but with a look like this you'll see if the lashes are wonky and I feel like they're not very wonky today which makes me very happy. So the blue little thing that I have under my eye here was like a last minute decision. It's one of the JD Glow uh, liquid liners in the, in the shade pastel blue. I just thought I wanted to have like a little pop of interest. I thought about doing you know like a black extended wing in the inner corner but like I mess that up so often and I feel like this is just easier so I just Put a little pop of blue there for for fun. In my waterline, I have a nude eyeliner from ColourPop. This is in the shade Honey Dude. I would rather recommend the one from Norvina. I feel like the Norvina eyeliner is a little bit better, but I couldn't find that like right in front of me, so I just kind of <laughs> reached for the one that I could find. My lip combo today is a lip liner from Natasha Denona. This is the My Perfect Lip Liner. I don't know if it has another name on it. If it does, I definitely cannot see it, but I really like it. It's basically the color of my lips, which is perfect. And then on top I have a, I think these are just called colored lip balms from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade called Pillow Talk. I just, I love this combination and I love this product so much. It's sort of a semi-opaque kind of long lasting gloss. It definitely doesn't feel like a balm. Like it's, it's kind of sticky, but in a good way, in the way that is going to last a long time on your lips. I don't find it to be uncomfortable at all, but it's it's a very long lasting gloss product if that is something that you're interested in. I will say I have another shade, which is the pink one, which is way more sheer than this one. And I wish the other one was a little bit more opaque. I bought the other one online and this one I bought in store after swatching it. So this, this color is definitely my favorite in this formula, but I, I am interested in picking up more of these because I really do enjoy them. And I'm wearing a tiny bit of mascara as well. I should probably mention that, but this is my Bad Gal Bang. Just have a little bit on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes. But honestly, I've been using so little mascara these days that this one has dried out to the point where usually I would have replaced this like a month ago probably because I would need for my mascara to be fresh to put it on lashes where I didn't have lashes on. But since I've been wearing lashes all the time, it's like I don't even care about my mascaras anymore, which is really sad. But I really do need to buy a new one because it's just getting quite old and I don't want to put old uh, mascara on my eyes. So I need to buy another one. And if I had a fresh one, it would probably encourage me to not wear lashes every single day. But <sighs> once you start, it's tough to go back, especially when you feel like you're getting better at lash application. It's like you just want to keep wearing it because it looks great, right? So that's going to be it for the first look of this video. I don't know what I'm going to do for the second look, but I'm excited to find out and you will find out right now. This is the look that I am wearing today and I love this look. Now, I didn't film this and I'm not using anything new really, but I wanted to do something brown and yellow because Angie always talks about that. I'll leave her channel down below. You all know who she is, but she always says that brown and yellow is her favorite kind of neutral combination. And I don't feel like I've ever done a look like this. And can I just say brown and yellow work wonderfully together. And I was wearing a yellow sweater anyway. And I was like, this is the time. And since I'm not really reviewing anything today, I haven't gotten any new packages in the mail in a very long time, which makes me so happy because it's so fun to be able to dig back into my collection again and use the things that I love. So I will show you the things that I'm using today. For my blush, I'm using a blush from YSL. This is in the shade Couture Blush, I think it's just called. It's an orange. It's not a very orangey orange. It's still orange, but it's kind of subtle. And I like that about it. I don't feel like I have to be careful with it. 
My highlighter today is of course the Noctilucent palette and I'm using the same highlighter again, which is the yellow one, using that on my face as well as my inner corner and my brow bone. My eyeshadows today, I pulled out a palette that I haven't used in what feels like forever and this is the P. Louise Watch the Queen Conqueror palette and I'm using this side right here, which is such a beautiful fall palette. I absolutely love this. I'm using these two yellows kind of mixed together and this brown, I think it is. Yeah, it's this brown. So that's basically what the mattes are. And then for the shimmers, I'm using two shimmers from Cleona, which I love my Cleona shimmers. You guys know that. My lid shade is this one right here. If I can get that out, it's the shade called Throne. That's what's kind of like on my lids. And then underneath my eye, just for the front portion here, I have another one, which is an orange. And this one is the shade called majesty it's really hard to like show you these without dropping them and i'm so just paranoid that i'm going to uh ruin them if i do drop them because these are expensive shadows but they're so beautiful my lashes today are the dreamer lashes from unearthly cosmetics in my waterline i have two eyeliners i'm using let's see this one is from ColourPop. it's the one they did in collaboration with rob Beauty christie i have that sort of in the outer corner here and then the yellow one is the about face liner in the shade line artist in the front portion and I think that's almost it. I also have a lip liner from Glamlight, and this is the Frosted Flakes one. It's probably the best kind of like brownie nude that I have. And then my lipstick today is from Ace Beauté. I really like this color. It's in the shade Sincere. I use this a lot. And I think that's pretty much it. My earrings are from Ana Luisa. My sweater I actually just got. I got it from Altered State. I don't know if you guys know of that store, but it's one that I found here in Vegas pretty recently and I freaking love their sweaters like they are so soft and I just cannot get enough I have like three of them now <laughs> so I'm probably going to be wearing these like all winter and it's really cold in Vegas right now which makes me so happy because I'm so over the the summer so I'm going to be all cozy and fall like today and I'm excited so yeah I don't know when I'm getting my next package I don't there's really nothing that I'm waiting for which is so nice to just have a little bit of a break. I feel like the Halloween and the Christmas and all that stuff is like always so busy. But now that most brands have kind of released their Halloween stuff and holiday collections already, it's going to be a little bit more chill, I feel like, for the next month or so, which is good, or at least until after Christmas. So I'm going to start thinking about what kind of Christmas content it is that I want to do. If you have any ideas, is, is there anything that you want to see me do in December, let me know because I'll have a lot of videos in December for sure. Not going to post every day, but you'll get a lot of videos from me for sure. So that's going to be it for today's look. I am so excited because my Scooby-Doo collection from Glamlight came yesterday. So that is what I'm wearing pretty much on my face and on my eyes today. I am wearing my uh, bronzer from ColourPop and then my blush today is from Pat McGrath and I'm using one of the face trios that is no longer available, but I'm using this color right here. Uh, for the Scooby-Doo collection, pretty much everything else on my face is that. So this is the highlighting palette, which is so cute. I mean, look at that packaging. I love that when you flip it, like it switches to a different image. And I'm using this shade right here as my brow bone highlight and my face highlight and right underneath here on my eyes. I'm using this shade as sort of a lightening up shade on my lid because I felt like the palette didn't really have anything that was light enough for my liking. So I'm using the Creeps and Crawls palette, which is one of the palettes from the Scooby-Doo collection. Like I said, I do have a code with Glam Light. This should be available still. I'm not sure when this video is going up. This video is probably going up like three weeks after I post my review with this. So it might not be available anymore, but my code is a net and it will save you 15% off. I'm using all of the mattes on my eyes and I'm using this shade and this shade on my lids. And I think that's pretty much it. I feel like I did pretty good, like trying as many shades as possible. I'm also using the liquid liner from the collection, which honestly, I'm not a huge fan. I feel like it went on nicely, but then when it started drying down, it almost felt like it like shriveled up my lids a little bit. Like it started to feel kind of tight. You know how some when something dries down, it kind of just like sucks the life out of you. That's kind of how I felt with my eyelids when they started drying. And I also felt like even though it's a very liquidy thick formula, it almost like faded a bit as it dried and it didn't look as black as when I first applied it. So I don't love this. Uh, the mascara from the collection, I only used it on my lower lash line, but I don't like this really. I felt like it was very dry, which I don't really like in mascaras. And also the wand is just not my favorite. Like it's quite a large thick wand, which I, I prefer like the 
like the plasticky spiky ones that is just like a preference thing and even though i didn't use it on my top lashes i can't see myself wanting to reach for this as like a, a mascara if i just want mascara and not lashes my lip combo today is again the Kellogg's liner from Glamlight and I'm using one of the lipsticks from this Scooby-Doo collection. This one is beautiful, such a pretty color. I can see myself using this one a lot and this is called the Rut Row Lipstick. Like I said in my video with Scooby-Doo, I don't know the reference. I don't know how to say this. Like when I grew up, I watched Scooby-Doo when I was probably six and I watched it in Norwegian. So a lot of these references I just don't understand and that's totally fine. So don't make fun of me if I mispronounce something. And the last thing that I'm wearing also is the lashes from the collection. These are beautiful. They're quite large. They're definitely not your everyday kind of lashes unless you wear super big lashes like this every day. I can definitely see myself wearing these again. I felt like they were quite easy to put on. I haven't actually checked out my application today. Okay, it's not perfect. I feel like this eye is maybe a little bit... Mm, I think it's just the liner that's not perfect, honestly. The lashes look really good. I do think the lashes look really good. So, so far I'm enjoying the lashes, not enjoying the liner, but that has nothing to do with the lashes, but the lashes are really nice. And I kind of wish that Glamlight had a sort of range of lashes that wasn't included in collections and that they had their own just like lashes that were just Glamlight lashes. And I feel that way about like, I wish that they had blushes too. I wish that they just had like a Glamlight range of blushes and highlighters and like the basics, like lashes and stuff like that, that weren't collection items. I don't know, that could just be me. Uh, for my waterline, this is probably the last thing that I haven't mentioned yet, but this is just Crybaby from ColourPop. I just wanted a light purple and that's pretty much it. I really like this look. I think my next look is probably going to be with this palette right here. So you will see that in just a second. I just got done filming uh, the second look with the Glamlight collection. And for this look, I'm using the R R raggy palette which is the sort of greeny purpley bluey palette i love this look i think this turned out so good and i had a really good time with this palette i will say i feel like the formula in this palette is a little bit worse than the formula in the other palette just that i felt like the mattes even though i didn't do a ton of blending or anything i just felt like the darker shades are a little bit sheerer and they take a little bit more building up. They're not my favorite mattes that Glamlight has ever done, but they were totally workable. Um, I didn't have any problems like getting it to look the way that it did. And I think the shimmers are beautiful. The color story is really fun. Really enjoy this palette so far. I'm not using the same lashes today. I went back to my dreamlike lashes from Unearthly because I just, I really like the, the shape and the size of these. I feel like these are more kind of everyday appropriate for me. And I don't feel like I have to really stress about them kind of getting on well, you know, like I, I know I'm gonna get a pretty decent application with these and even if it's not perfect, it's still gonna look okay. Whereas with very giant lashes, you almost need them to be perfect because otherwise you're really gonna see if they're not like, you know, even on both eyes or whatever. So I really, really like these lashes and I'm probably gonna make another order and buy more pairs from Unearthly because these are beautiful. Uh, the lipstick that I'm wearing for this look is the shade jeepers and i love this this is so beautiful definitely a color i can see myself using a lot i really like the formula on these as well like i said in my review these remind me sort of like a a semi matte they're not completely matte they're not transfer proof but they're quite long lasting they look really good on the lips they're very comfortable i'm also wearing a lip liner from bk beauty this was just the one that i found that would match it the best and it's in the shade pink lady I do have a coat with BK Beauty. It's not affiliated. It'll be on the screen. I forget what it is. I don't think it's just a net, but it's right there if you want to pick anything up from them. Um, I did probably show the new brush set that I got um, in one of the previous looks, but I've been using it more and I really like it still. So I just wanted to give a quick update on that. My blush today is from the Arthurine palette from Menagerie and I'm using the shade called Salmonberry. Really, really like this shade. Um, these can't all be sold individually, so if you've been looking at this palette and you're interested in one or two of the shades, uh, just know that you can buy them individually, you don't have to buy the full palette. And I also don't know if the palette is still in stock. A lot of the time it's sold out and I don't think that they're restocking it that often, so just so you know if there's a color in that palette that you're interested in, you can easily pick it up um, in a single and they do sell little like bare compacts with it, which are really, really cute. My eyeliner today is from Unsai, this is the shade... 006, so the shade six is just a green. I thought I would put it in my waterline because it looked pretty. 
and I am also wearing the highlighting palette from the Scooby-Doo collection. So I have this shade on my face and my brow bone and my inner corner. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I really like this look. I think this turned out beautiful. Oh, also my jewelry is from Ana Luisa, if you were wondering, which it usually is. So I think we still have a couple more looks that I can do in this video. I need to start like importing this so I can see how many looks I've done so far, but I think I'm definitely gonna add another one to this. And I think for tomorrow, I don't have anything that I need to film with. I do have one palette though that I haven't, mm, maybe I'll do a separate video on that. Yeah, maybe I'll just play with some makeup again tomorrow. That could be fun. So yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm excited as always. Whenever I get a chance to do that, it's just like my playtime. I, I really enjoy that. So I will see you for tomorrow's look. Yes, I know I haven't even turned on the lights in the back, but it's just because all I was gonna film today was this very, very short clip. So as you can see, this is a very plain look for me. And I think it's the first time ever that I have put on lashes without having any eyeshadow on. And honestly, I think that I did a really good job. I feel like the only reason I haven't done that before is because number one, I like playing with eyeshadow, but also because I haven't been confident enough in my lash application to feel like it wouldn't look wonky if I didn't wear eyeshadow to kind of like cover up my mistakes or whatever. But I think it looks really, really good. And I was sort of in a hurry today, so I didn't want to do a whole lot. So I mostly focused on my face makeup and I wanted to go very heavy with the um, highlighter that I'm using. So I decided to go with the gifted highlighter from Kaleidos because I freaking love this as like an all over the face kind of highlighter. So I have it here. I have it in my inner corner and my brow bone and I think it looks so good. And honestly, I just really, really wanted to use the <laughs> lipstick from the Glam Light and Scooby-Doo collection again. I just think that this color is so beautiful. Now, am I going to get this all over my face today? Probably, and it's gonna look like a mess, but I'm gonna do my best to wear this because I think it is so pretty and I really just wanted like a very kind of classic look today and a bit of a like sporty athleisure look. I'm just wearing like a Nike sweatshirt with some ripped black jeans and like a chain and I just, I don't know, I'm kind of just feeling the vibes. My pony today is the Mia or Maya, I never know how to say that pony from Iron Age, is the, the very, very long straight one. I think it is so beautiful. It's very lightweight, super easy to wear. And the last thing that I probably should mention is my lashes. These are the Darling Lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics. I love these. So I just wanted to jump on and do a little bit of a makeup of the day, even if it's not very much. Oh, also I should, I'm like forgetting stuff. I'm wearing a freckle pen. This is from Lime Crime. I love this. I need to buy a new one because it's drying out. I did a lot of freckles because I just was feeling it. This is in the shade Amber and then my blush today. I should mention that as well. This one is from Kaleidos and it's the kind of corally blush, which I don't know what name this is because they don't have names on them, but there's really only one that looks like that on their website. So that's going to be it for today. It's very, very simple, but still pretty cute look. I like this look. I think I'm going to feel good in this the rest of the day. Okay, so here is my next look, and I did the last look with this palette from Bella Beauty Bar. I didn't realize that this was the third edition of this palette because I wasn't familiar with the brand when they came out with the first two. So just wanted to throw that out there if you were already correcting me, but now I know. But I used this palette obviously for this look, and I used this shade, this shade, and this shade. Those are all on my lid and I love this look. I love this palette. I think it is absolutely amazing. My other shadows today are, listen, I had to pull in my Blend Bunny palette because I feel like I haven't used this in so long and that makes me sad. So I used a combination of these two mattes in my, sh uh, in my crease and that was it. I love it. I also used some teal eyeliner. I'm not sure if you can properly see it behind my lashes, but this is one that I had from Melt. I ended up picking this one up when I uh, put in an order. During their last sale, they were having a 30% off sale, and I think this was like already discounted, so I got this for a really good price. This is the shade called Slate. I will say, maybe don't use uh, this liner in particular over very, very shiny eyeshadows. I had to really build it up to be able to get a good application, but I still think that it looks really good. It just took a little while to kind of get there, but I love this color. It is so pretty. My lashes today are from Auric. I found the last pair that I have laying around. I literally don't know where the other three pairs are. Like they have just disappeared from the face of the earth and I, I can't find them. So I, I think I need to make another order. I hope they have a Black Friday sale because I really want to buy some more of these. I think that they are really, really nice. Uh, the ones that I'm wearing today are the full lashes from the style Glass Wing. I think these are my favorite, so I will probably repurchase 
glass wing and maybe also like viceroy is it viceroy or is it viceroy i never know how to say that because i don't i don't I feel like everybody says it differently, but I want to try those as well. Like those are the most intense ones. And I feel like, I feel like since these are the mid ones, I feel like I can handle the lashes that are a little bit larger as well, especially since I cut them. So they're not going to be as intense as they are like full lash in, in the, in the pan, in the compact. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like this look. Um, I'm actually wearing a different foundation today because, man, do I go through that freaking Valentino? Where even is it? It's right here. Do I go through this so quickly? Like, I realized the other day that there's only 25, 25 mils in this, which is five mils less than most other foundations. And it makes sense that I go through this quickly. So I don't know if I'm going to keep repurchasing this. I love this foundation. I wish I had sort of ran out before the Sephora sale was over and I probably would have picked up another one. I'm going to keep my eyes on the Valentino website. Maybe they will have a Black Friday sale. Probably not because it's a luxury brand, but you never know. But I freaking love this foundation and it makes me sad that I'm pretty much out of it. So I went back to the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation, which I really like this one, but this is a bit too light for me just like a little bit but i feel like you know winter is coming i maybe have the tiniest amount left of a tan that i had in the summer but i don't know but this is a shade 20 nn which is the um light neutral so this should be perfect for me but it's a little bit too light but it's fine i can absolutely make it work and no one's gonna look at my face and be like your foundation is too light uh, my bronzer today is from ColourPop. it's the isle bet super shock bronzer my highlighter today is of course the noctilucent palette from blend money and i'm still using the shade enlightened pretty much all over my face uh face brow bone not in a corner today i don't know what else to say <laughs> In my waterline, I have the About Face Eyeliner in the shade Reptilian, I think that says. I should know this name by now, but this is my favorite green eyeliner in my collection now. The more I use this, the more I love it. If you've been looking for a green eyeliner, get this one. It's amazing. I will say not all of the colors from About Face are as good. I feel like the yellow one is a little bit trickier and it can tend to look a little bit chunky in the waterline if you really want to build it up to be nice and opaque. But I mean, it still works, but I think this one so far, probably my favorite. It just glides on effortlessly and it just looks great all day. It really stays in my waterline. Um, the last thing I'm kind of like looking at my face, uh, just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. But I think the last thing that I should mention is my lipstick and my lip liner. So I've talked about this Gucci lipstick many times and I've been like, I can't for the life of me find the right lip liner to go with this. But during the melt sale, I actually found a pretty good match. So this is the color of the lipstick. As you can tell, it's a very kind of yellow based brown and it's very hard to find a lip liner to go with that. But I did get this one from melt and this is a shade called Sepia. So I'll give you a little swatch here right next to it. And it's pretty much as close as I'm going to be able to get to have a very neutrally slash uh, warm toned liner to go with this lipstick. And I feel like this looks really good and I'm so excited that I found something to go with this because I've struggled so much to wear this on its own because the color is so unique and it's also so different from my own lip color that if I don't have a lip liner, it just looks a little bit sloppy and not very good. So I'm so excited to have found a lip liner that goes with this. So. Love this look, love this lipstick, love everything about this. Uh, my scarf, I've gotten some comments about this scarf in the past. I honestly, I don't know where I got this. I've had this for like 10 years, I don't know, but I love it. I think it is so cute. It's very lightweight, but it just adds like color to any outfit. And I just think it's so cute. My earrings are from Ana Luisa. Also my nails, I got a package from Kiss with some of their uh, press-on nails. And you guys know I love press-on nails. It's all I ever wear. I don't wear lip polish polish nail polish jesus uh so i love these these are so cute i think these are actually from the brand called impress nails but they came in a package with kiss so i'm guessing they work together or something but I'll, I'll try to link these down below they're really really cute i really enjoy them and i like the length of them i i like longer la i can't talk to them so sorry i like longer nails but sometimes i feel like it's not that practical which I'm, I'm I'm sure you can relate. Like, yeah, you get used to doing things with long nails, but sometimes it's nice to just have like shorter nails. So these still have a little bit of length in them, as you can see, but I have very short nail beds. So 
uh, nails that are marketed as being short still have like a little bit of a tip on the edge here because my nails are very, very short. So yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty much everything I'm wearing. I'm gonna probably do one more look in this video. I'm gonna import all this and just count and then I'll let you know in the next look if that's it or not. So let's move into whatever the next look ends up being. Okay, and here is today's look. So obviously very understated compared to what I usually go for, but I really wanted the lipstick to be the main focus today. And the lipstick that I'm wearing is actually one that I ordered uh, in my Sephora order because I had a sale. And I was like, you know what? I wanna pick up more of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks because I absolutely love them. They are my favorite formula of all time. I saw this one on the website and all the models just looked amazing in it. And oh, this is such a beautiful red and also the packaging there's something about Charlotte Tilbury's packaging that just it just gets me it's like a red and black leopard this is so beautiful and the color of it is everything this is the shade called Patsy Red I don't know if this used to be like a big deal or anything but I could see this having been like a very hyped product a while ago like before I got into makeup I could see this being like the big red lipstick thing that everybody wanted but I love it I am wearing it with a lip liner and I'm wearing the Laura Mercier lip liner in the shade Crimson. These were the perfect match. I also ended up getting this color here in the Kissing Formula, which I haven't tried yet. This is in the shade Nude Romance. Just wanted a nude and I wanted to try the formula. And I also ended up picking up another one of the, I never know what these ones are called, like the balmy thingies with the clicky. Um, this is pretty much an orange and I'm really excited to have this. So. Those were all of the things that I picked up in the Sephora order and I also got a new Bad Gal Bang which I'm wearing today which is why I'm not wearing lashes because I finally had another one. Uh, for my eyes, like I said, I wanted something kind of more subtle because I really wanted the lipstick to be the star of the show and also the shimmer on my lid is so beautiful. I'll get to that. I'm wearing the Kasha Bento Box in the shade Chocolate Dahlia and I'm just using the two neutral shades. These are such good just kind of basics. And I really like the formula on these as well. I've been really enjoying this actually. They did send me this and it's not a product that I thought I would really, you know, get a lot of use out of. But honestly, those two shades, they're perfect for just doing something super quick with a shimmer on the lid. And the shimmer that I'm using is from the Unearthly All I Ever Wanted uh, Volume 2 palette. And I'm using the yellow up here, which it looks very yellow in the pan, but it's actually like a yellow pink duochrome. And it's so beautiful. And I wanted something kind of pink to like go with the shirt that I'm wearing, which I'm feeling very nostalgic today. I feel like what I'm wearing today is an outfit that I would wear when I was like 13. <laughs> this is like a big kind of oversized, but sort of cropped sweater. I got this from Forever 21 and I'm wearing some black flared kind of legging pant things. And I'm also going to be wearing my Buffalo shoes that I just bought. I used to wear buffalo shoes every single day to school when I was, I think, like 12 to 14. And the fact that they're sort of back in style again makes me so happy. So I bought a pair and I can't wait to wear them. <laughs> so basically, that's going to be most of the things. I'm also wearing a blush from Dior and this is the shade called Blush For You. Um, let's see, my highlighter today is of course the Nocti Lucent palette from Blend Money and I'm just using the pink shade up in the middle here. One of my favorites, this is the shade called Phenomena. I have that on my cheeks and my brow bone and I think that's it. My jewelry is from Ana Luisa and that's gonna sum up this look and also this video, I think. I think this is going to be the seventh look. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. If it's not seven, I'm gonna put in something else to make it seven, but I think this is seven. So thank you so much for watching. I know that you guys seem to really be enjoying these videos and that makes me so happy because I really enjoy filming them. It's really fun for me to kind of edit them and put them together and like flick through the looks myself and see like how different they were, how similar they were. Like, have I been in a makeup rut or have I kind of been creative the last week or just, just whatever. Like, it's just fun to kind of look at uh, like a set of makeup looks that you've done sort of back to back and like just see where your mindset is at. So that's gonna be it for today and this video. Like I said, if you wanna see some more of these, I do have a playlist, I'll put that right there. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.